What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I'm your host, Trey the Brute Danes. Welcome to an episode of the Indie Corner, where I sit down with everybody from the independent community. Writers, artists, directors, producers, doesn't matter. If you're in the game, I want to talk to you. So today we got ourselves another very, very special guest. He is the host of Grumpy Old Vaping Gamer. Give it up for my buddy James, the Grumpy Old Vaping Gamer himself. What's going on? Oh, Grump, it's good having you with me today, my friend. How are you? I'm actually not as grumpy as normal, so I'm having a pretty good day. I woke up and didn't feel like just punching stuff, so it's a good day. Mm, that is a good day. That's good. It's a good day. Oh, and also I forgot to mention that he is also one of the grand knights of the round table uh, that we all sit back and kick back and talk trash every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, Grump, before we get to... Oh, and it's a beautiful blade indeed. <laughs> so, before we get into all the cool stuff that you're getting into and all the stuff of your channel and all the other crazy stuff you're doing on Twitter, let's just get to know you a little bit. Who are you, James? How did we get here? I got here through a whole lot of unfortunate events. A lot of them. <laughs> How far back you want to go? Do you want me to do a full nerd erotic in three hours <laughs> later? Or... <laughs> Give us the bullet points. Who you are, where you come from, and how do we got here? Grew up on a tobacco farm, worked my entire life from age five. So working is about the only thing I know. Turned 18, started working in a factory. Had a blast with that because I like working. Factory closed, got into trucking in 2001, and I've been doing that ever since. Wow. Currently, basically driving 12, 14 hours every day, five, six days a week. And then I just come home and play on my computer whenever I can. Basically, a lot of video games. <laughs> a lot of video games. There's no question about it. And I'm about it. I'm about it. So, um, what kind of factory did you work in uh, back in the day? Uh, 98, it was a cloth dyeing factory for Burlington. Oh, sweet. So, for Burlington, like coats and whatnot. So, it was high-end stuff. I was, of course, in the hot job, they called it, in the dye room where it was average 110 degrees at the humidity was literally we were spraying the floors with water 24 7 so it was it was warm yeah to say the least wow wow that's crazy that's crazy so you did still that. better than the tobacco fields i was in okay okay so so yeah, yeah when they field... put it in that perspective that was a very very nice job so when it comes to the tobacco fields did your family like own the fields or you just yeah my uncle owned Six, seven hundred acres and it rotated so we ran about 200 acres a year wow plus cattle i don't like cows they make good steaks but i don't want to ever deal with another one again i hear that so what part of america was that in like midwest southern virginia oh okay east coast okay cool 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 cool, cool. southern va out there milking cows and getting the tobacco yeah, these are all beef cows. We didn't do no milk, oh. and we just throw them on a cage and send them somewhere to turn into beef. Oh, okay, okay. So now, now I'm a little curious. So, what did you do? I mean, because I, I, my family's from the south as well, and the farming we we had was usually standard crops and and milking cows. So I really don't know how the beefing cows work. Like, how does how does that operate? Uh, you basically just raise them you put them in a field let them grow up when they get to a certain weight you load up a certain amount of them onto your trailer and you take them to the market you sell them off wholesale we didn't actually do any of the cutting or nothing so we just basically we'd have calves we'd have a full field of female cows we rent a bull or we actually had our own bull that we just rotated through the fields you only put one in at a time of course you and he gets to have fun. He's happy. He's got like 20 or 30. He can just sit there and plow. And then you have a whole litter of calves. And then once they grow up, you roll them out. So and with the litter of calves, so with the litter of calves, how did you deal with the bulls that were born? How, how did you, how did you deal with those? You would, those would be generally your first cut to go to um, market. Okay. See, you're educating me today. You're educating me today because we never dealt with 
um those um those cows we had all well not we my family down south i ain't milking none but my family down south <laughs> family down south dealt with all dairy cows um and i think i went when i was a kid and milked one or whatever but like but that was not i'm a city boy i don't i'm not i'm not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not hurting myself like that i, I you know what i mean oh but, yeah it hurts i mean i've got broke collarbones and legs my uncle ended up having 20 something knee surgeries total to put his knee back together when one kicked him in it so yeah that's why we got out of it yeah we didn't have anybody left that could walk yeah <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it that'll do it so then so you went from the tobacco farm and so then you went to the warehouse in 98 and was dying some clothes um yeah so you got out of that and then you started truck driving so who do you um i mean you don't have to say who your company is but like do do you like do um just deliveries or like, like how, how are you, what kind of trucking are you doing well i said 2001 i started with werner that's one that everybody knows so i ain't too worried about spreading that one's name out it ain't like this you ain't seen the blue truck everybody's seen it <laughs> and in the first year because i kept tabs on it in my little address book and by little i mean the sucker was that thick mm. because in one year i went across 48 states all 48 continuous states wow three different passes into mexico and three different providences of canada including an upper run in canada wow so that was you... one year good i grief. did 140 something thousand miles on year one oh my goodness so are you still making those type of runs now that kind no. of <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to die <laughs> so now um do you just do i wouldn't consider it local because you're you're trucking it, so it's you know it's always it, gonna be a it's still local because i i literally drive to and from work every day oh okay okay so i'm the home every day ish night ish which i've been doing that kind of run for a while because after werner i went to heartland they just went from being all of the u.s to east coast <clears throat> and in trucking east coast means new york so i got out of that really quick <laughs> don't even blame you i new don't even blame people's, you yeah. I, I, look i the people's be nuts i i was just there i was just there brother that place <laughs> it's not for me bro it's not no. for me like i'm a now, city see, I, I judge a place simply if i'm going in or not do I have enough ammo on me currently to handle everybody in there? And if not, nope. <laughs> so I ain't got enough ammo for New York. And I've got a pretty good supply. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's it's a madhouse up there. That is that's look, I'm a city I boy had, through and through, but that's too much for me. I had to back a Freightliner Classic XL, which is the big hood stretched out Freightliner with a 53 foot trailer down an alleyway central new york city one time Why? i had to pull my side mirrors in to keep them from being ripped off from the wall oh my god i had to blind i had to back in blind just had somebody in front of me going like this telling me which way i'm getting ready to hit something yeah then i came in and worked for my uncle again because family he had he dropped some of the farming and went mainly into excavating. I'm like, ooh, big Tonka toys. And I had a blast with that for I wish I could still do it. Oh, that's I really cool. do. Because but you know, funny enough, somewhere around 2009 ish, 2010, there was some sort of market crash of some sort from there some was, sort of president. There was yeah, it absolutely drove us almost out of business. As in, we went from having 30, 40 employees to he couldn't afford but about five doing little petty jobs because no houses being sold. And in the South, for y'all that are in the bigger cities don't understand, we have our own private septic systems. That's right. Like in my front yard. And you've got to have a pretty darn good excavator and a damn good operator to dig those because they have to be perfect yeah and that's what we did a lot of and when that went out that was all of our extra money wow i mean we were still doing a job for hewlett packard and for the local uh 
Microsoft, but they really won't big at that time. The jobs weren't, which now they are, because that's where they moved to. Yes, of course. But I got to play with big, big, big Tonka toys. That's cool. So like John Earth, Deere, so you had like Earth Movers and 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 the John Deere 992 excavator. I had, I at six foot one had to use the step rail to climb onto the tracks to wow. get in this machine. Wow. The bucket three, the bucket was big enough for three grown men to stand in. Good grief. It would fill a standard dump truck in two scoops. So that was like climbing on an elephant. Pretty much. Wow. And you sit up in the cab with your two, I mean, big old sticks to play with. So yeah, me being a gamer, this was just natural. And could dig a 60 foot vertical hole. Wow. That's deep. Yeah. You sitting there looking at hole and like, <laughs> yeah it's it was a big bitch yeah and we used it for demolition mainly tearing trees down just going through the forces going took up took up then just knocking wow we'd, we'd meet at six in the morning to get our jobs to see who's going where and then you could tell when we had a specific job because my uncle would come up with straws and everybody draw the straw and whoever got it and these were the demolition jobs when somebody would have a house need to be demolished. Everybody wanted this job. Yes. And yes. you get to pick your weapon. You just, what do you want to do to tear it down? Uh, today I want the D10 bulldozer, which is a monstrosity of a bulldozer. And you just drive right through the house. Oh, that's awesome. Or you take the big 992 and just go, and you just flatten it. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, so we did get to have fun with that one. Wow. But that dropped out, and then I'm working where I am now, which is a, let's see, how far can I take this one? It's a laundry facility. Okay. So we wash laundry. Well, we service our depots, which is a different area, which is my job is to take stuff to and from the depot. I'm the transfer driver. Okay. But yeah, the factory washes the stuff, repackages, sends it to a depot. Depot takes it to the customer. Customer brings back to the depot nasty. Then we have to wash it again and cycle and cycle and la, 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 and gotcha. all that bullshit. Gotcha. 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 Okay. I so sit, I just sit my ass sit behind the wheel and drive. Yeah. 500, 600 miles a day. That's wild. So, okay. So you went through all that. A heck of a, thank you for sharing that journey with me off the jump. So you went through all that. You had your farm life and then you're going to uh trucking and now all this work so so when did we get to all the fun gaming stuff when when did this start sparking for you i started playing games on an atari 2600 1984 okay so that's a heck of I'm a origin old. start and and because of the game pitfall on that son of a bitch that's why i'm still grumpy <laughs> Y'all young whippersnappers, y'all go play the original Pitfall and then tell murder. me why I'm grumpy. That game is murder. That game, yeah, they ain't got yeah. nothing today compared to yeah. it. It's murder. It's murder. Uh, it's just, hey, look, my hand is on the rope. No, not close enough. Yeah! <laughs> Precision was key. Yeah, and you didn't get to just start where you missed your jump. It was all the way back, back to the beginning. beginning. Back to square one. So, okay, so you were rocking on the Atari back in the day. Then 86 got the Nintendo. And then from then on out, it was just one after another. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. Just climbed through the ranks. I got up to the PS2. In which you know, I had the PS1 and then the PS2. And then after that, I had no taste for the PlayStations anymore. Okay. I don't know what they did to piss me off, but it must have been pretty good because I'm still pissed. They did something to make you grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... It's just a system. They were all like the three. The three had the black screen to death. Yeah. The four had the black screen to death. The one and two never did. Why couldn't y'all just continue making them like? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty good. So and then Nintendo stepped their game up, mm -hmm. come the Wii, Wii U, and especially now with the Switch. Switch is cool. I like it. And between that and a PC now, you got a Switch and a PC. They ain't put like what eight games in the world you can't play. Yeah. That's about it. Yet. Yeah, yeah, the time's coming. Wait, wait, didn't uh, um, um, Spider Man's coming War. now? Yeah, Spider Man's coming. God of War is now on PC. Yeah, so that, that Spider Man's that, on it. That list is shrinking. 
Alyssa yeah, like Shreve. I said, it ain't but about eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, all right. So, you've been gaming since you can remember. So, when did we decide to create the gaming channel on YouTube? That took a little... <clears throat> That was another series of unfortunate events, okay. starting with a divorce. It's a pretty good kick in the pants to, um, you're sitting at home alone now, what are you going to do? Well, I'm a game. And I'll just sit there and play games for the first, well, when I say play games, I was working off paying debt, doing everything else. I couldn't afford nothing because I was eating mac and cheese seven days a week. Not to craft Walmart, mm. the three, four dollar because I had about 20000 in debt I wanted to pay off. I did that in two years, by the way. Oh, that's, wow. Very good. That's impressive. Uh, I still eat mac and cheese, just not as often. <laughs> and then oh. once I did that and got all of these payments gone, I discovered something. Damn, checking account starting to get multiple zeros behind it. And it just kept going. I'm like, funny you're not making all these stupid ass payments to dumb ass credit cards you got money you know this is still talking about being after a divorce with child support all these other things i'm still paying for a house and i look at my account one day and said hmm that's a pretty big number i've always wanted a gaming pc so i built one <laughs> <laughs> i just went online and said all right i want that case i want what is it? I got the 10850K, I believe, is what it is. That's yeah, nothing to but, trifle with. I like that. Yeah, it's, it's what I've never used more than 5% of it, and I watch it on my analytics every time I play. Wow. It's wow. way more than I, I should ever need. <laughs> I mean, hell, I got 64 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah. Hey, you say, me like too. A, oh, look at us. <laughs> I, I think I've used a 20%, 25%, Maybe. Yeah. and that was on Resident Evil 8 nice so so you got the you got the pc you started so when did you start decide to start streaming after you got that the PC? pretty promptly after i put the pc together I was, i'm like all right well i've got this my brother-in-law helped me out get tied up with steam in which we have all of so between him me and my son's account We've got them all tied together so we can all share games. Share games That's yeah. what we started doing. Smart. And so now I've got access to like 600 games. I'm like, well, shoot, I might as well just, I've got a camera. It's right here. See, it's a camera. <laughs> Let me just sit this on top of something. And which back then I had a chair that I just had to move up closer to the, the screen, which like I said, you've seen what my studio looks like. I'm sitting in a recliner. I'm old man. I'm not sitting in one of these fancy dancy ga gaming chairs. I'm laid back in a lazy boy with a Pokemon sheet covering it because it looks good. <laughs> no, see, Grump, I, I should have took a note from you. I got this this thing sitting here. I, I I I sometimes I can get comfortable, you know what I'm saying? But you laid up, you you are sprawled out, looking like a pimp. I gotta get in on some of that. Yeah, and then look at. I just take my keyboard, sit in my damn lap. <laughs> the keyboard sits in my lap. The mouse is on the armrest, and everything's just glorious for me. Mm. But you know what kind of chair I would want? You ever seen one of those Brookstone chairs? Yes, oh. they're really nice. Oh my god! I sat in one of them jumps once. That jump like lifted me up in the air, like I was the baby Jesus, and that jump was <laughs> it was like freaking insane. I was sitting there like, oh my God, this is it. This is how I die. And I was like, this, <laughs> like and this, and this, this, this is the way. I was like, yo. But then I look at that price tag. I'm like. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I've looked at that price tag. <laughs> I could build my computer again. Yeah, exactly. Maybe not completely, but, you know. Close that enough. That graphic card, that one is. That was the only thing that I actually went Ooh, when I went to click yeah. on buy. Yeah. Yeah. Like the graphics card, like <clears throat> like what I'm working with, I call it my tank. It is an it's a repurposed um um HP uh oh my god, Z eight hundred is a repurposed HP Z eight hundred, which used to be a server back in the day. Um and I repurposed it, I gutted it out, 
and just you know reworked everything but the power supply is this big <laughs> well see my first computer the one before I, the one i built i bought from my brother-in-law i'm like you you're getting a new computer right yeah all right let me just buy yours let me just mess around that's what we started to steam on and it took me about a month i'm like i'm building one i'm building it myself I want because his wiring was shit. <laughs> I was driving my OCD up a damn wall. Do I ever got the wire going this way? It just it was not working out for me, <laughs> especially with a glass case. Oh, I could see it. Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah, it's gotta I just be started twitching. It's gotta be pretty, then, Grump. It's gotta be pretty. Uh, yeah, I put a cover over it. <laughs> I couldn't look at it. It took me about a month, and I said, "All right, let me check my account." Yep. And then I started ordering parts. A whole lot of Corsair parts. Grump, you're just throwing I, blankets on it. It'll choke, baby. It'll choke. No, I, I've, where I've got it is where I have a place. It used to be a fireplace where my TVs are mounted. Oh, okay. So I gutted all of that. And underneath there is where I keep my PC. Oh. So you can see it from both sides of the house. Oh. Because the lights are cool as shit because oh. I did pay to get every. LED I could possibly fit in that bastard in there. <laughs> Trying to be slick, Grump. You think you're fancy. I see. But with it right there, I can pull the my curtain down to cover it up for when I'm watching the movie. Mm. Because this is a movie theater room. My curtains that are behind my main screen does have a wraparound that comes to the walls to black out this entire room, take all glare off. So when I'm watching a movie, it's like a theater because there is 5.1 theater system in here. Oh. With a power 12, 400 watts. So I can shake my house and my neighbors. And my neighbor is 200 yards away. Oh, wow. He knows when I'm watching movies. I bet he does because he all comes his over to watch shaking. him with me. <laughs> That's like the calling card. He starts here and he comes over movie night. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yeah. I, went on i started picking out the part i found the case i like the water cooler because i'm gonna run a water cooler no matter what got all the ram the msi motherboard started piecing that together got everything together it's hiding wires for the love of god when you're talking a wad of wires like this it took a while but i got them in so about 12 hours total time for assembly cleanup wiring and programming i had it on the screen and that's when i started doing the streaming okay all right and i and and this I, was promptly after i spent about fifteen hundred dollars on the damn graphic card oh yeah i mean yeah yeah graphics card costs money um like what do i have in here now because i used to have 70 yeah i used to have a 750 ti in here back in the day but now My i have old a, one was a yeah. seven was a 780 okay yeah i replaced this i with caught that the... one on fire y yes they do catch on fire people yes they do ride to play resident evil 8 full graphics on a 780 and you will watch that four gigabytes of vram go woof <laughs> <laughs> call the fire department get your people <laughs> when you get to what is the heisenberg's board when he decides to have everything on the screen on fire everything moving and rendering Y'all looked down and said, oh, well, I, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, damn. It's, it ain't shit I could do. I just <laughs> screen black, computer shut off. I'm like, there's a puff of smoke in there. <laughs> I don't think it made it. <laughs> For the good of the kingdom, there must be sacrifices. <laughs> Yeah, so when I built this one, the first thing I did was load that scene to see if it could run it. Smart. Smart. <laughs> I figured if it could run the Heisenberg scene, if, if you played the game, you'd know the scene. Mm -hmm. It yes. is nasty on a daggone PC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I turned that sucker to 4K 60 frame, wide open, everything. I had ray tracing it. All of it turned on. No problem. I'm like, all right, I'm good. Yep. Yeah, because that would be the mo that, that's the ultimate test. <laughs> and I just started streaming just mainly because I'm going to play the game. Maybe one person out there want to watch. I'll just throw it out there. What the hell? Yeah. And then I just started having fun with it. Yeah. 
And I think that's the best part. The best part is that you're shit. having a good time. And I mean, I do some stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like I caught your stream the other day where you're just going through all the Sega Genesis classics, and I, I was like, like, man, look at you doing oh, your. Oh man, thing. that is fun. If I, <clears throat> the the first time I done that, I had a couple people come in and were just naming god awful no name games that were on the sega that i've never heard of before in my life and i'm like hey it's on here mm. click and then i started yelling at them for making me play this shit <laughs> and yeah it was just fun as hell so yeah that that kind of stream i will be doing a lot more of on thursday because let me just i might have had an upgrade uh-oh uh-oh what we got there oh hold on moses hold on this is the retcon five. Oh, that looks good this oh, thing mercy. is pretty freaking neat considering that it will play game boy game boy color game boy advance nintendo super nintendo genesis master system famicom and super famicom games that is on pretty one dope do the games come loaded on there no, you, they play the car, original cartridge game. Oh, snap. Oh, you can put the cartridge in. Oh. Oh, chicken legs, chicken legs. Oh, And shit. look, this weird little section right here is so you can put the um, Master System power adapter in through the Sega cartridge. Wow. And then up here in the front is all your Game Boys. So basically, all of the old style um, cartridge yeah, games cartridges, yeah. can play on this one system. Wow. That is really cool. Do you still have all your cartridges? or those? I've got a bunch of them, but I got rid of a ton of them because I couldn't get a system back then. And this is one of the controllers it's in. That's a weird looking little thing. Yeah, phone. I was about to say, where's the A, B, C, X, Y, Z? But I guess... This is the universal one to play on everything. But don't worry. <laughs> They still believe in a little bit of... Oh, there we go. Yeah, and not to mention, I meant to go get it before we started, but in one of my storages, I do have the old... You remember the big Super Nintendo Joy oh, controller? Yeah. Absolutely. The big, big, big dog? Yeah. Yep, I've got two of them. So I got to pull them out of storage and clean them up because this one, this system will take a Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, Sega, well, Sega Master, Sega Genesis controllers it's got ports for all of them that's brilliant so you could basically do everything with it for about 180 bucks that's amazing I'm now to... i've got to start going through and testing because some of like the cartridges i've been getting lately has got like thousand games on them some of those don't work on these newer type systems but they work on the older ones yeah i'm hoping because if it does i'm gonna just buy the compilations for every system yo that will be huge uh, I had already ordered the Game Boy one, the Game Boy Color one. Both of those got like 800 games on each. The Game Boy Advance got like 700 on that yeah, one. A lot of games for those things. Yeah, man. So I'll probably get the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo. I'm not going to worry so much about the Master System because mm -hmm. it's the same. And yeah. the same with the Famicom and Super Famicom. That was just Nintendo and Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo. But yeah. if I ever come across a classic Famicom cartridge, I just throw it in the system and play it. It'll Why be in not? Japanese, but it'll be all right. <laughs> you didn't need to read that shit, did you? Yep, as long as the buttons work. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is with those old games, you don't have no tutorial, people. That's right. You better figure it out. You, get, you got an instruction book that told you what the buttons were and gave you some hints. Yep, and gave and, you the backstory on, certain, on some of the characters. <laughs> yeah, and going through the Sega Genesis on Thursday doing that, I'm really getting a crash course remembrance of not having that instruction booklet and trying to play a game because they don't have any information on the game grump i remember when they stopped producing books for like the games and i'm gonna be honest i got oh yeah it drove me nuts i i was i'm like Wait a minute. Where's my book? I was like, like where's my book at? I want to know why I why I I'm invested in the these book characters just to read it. Yeah, I mean, most of the a lot of the books was it was almost an art 
to having an instruction book that was almost like a comic book. Exactly. And I've, I have a tendency like comic books. And and I was, I mean, I'm telling you, I was, I was flabbergasted when I, when I, when I, I think I, I might have been, no, no, Xbox 2 had it. I think it was Gen, whatever, whatever the Xbox 360 generation is, whatever number that is. I, Let's I, see, I didn't get into the PlayStation 3 or 4, and I ain't getting a 5 either because they still pissed me off. They got new reasons that they pissed me off. I still can't remember what PS3 pissed me off for, but that carried on and got added on to the fact that PS5 is just overpriced as hell. Yeah. The only thing that's really good about it is their controller, in which I do have because I got hooked to my PC. Nice. Because I got the best controller from every system hooked to my PC. That's fair. That's fair. But yeah, like I like me personally, after Xbox came around, Xbox 360, I'll say, um, I just pretty much abandoned the PS2. Like, like the PlayStation controller, like I don't think it's intuitive enough for hardcore gameplay. Cause like, like I think the hand being positioned like this just feels weird to me. It, uh, there are different games that I like it for because with my weird shaped hands, I can kind okay. of get okay. to the buttons and use the crit. I'm trying to show it. Yeah, I could use the because my thumb does this number. Oh, Not Lord. everybody's thumb does that shit. So I'm sitting there playing like this and using this to push the damn button. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you see, like but I, no, I do like their triggers. Yeah, their um joy, their actual joysticks in the now this is the ps5 mm -hmm. so it's got the upgraded everything i love this little mouse thing to where your feet it's a finger mouse mm -hmm. pad and for especially on pc gaming there are some but i got it mainly because i have some games on pc that they will not give me button prompts for any other controller but the playstation so wow. if i'm gonna have to have playstation controller I'm gonna yeah. get the best one they got. Yep, makes sense. Is... Makes sense. And like a couple of the controllers, like I didn't like, but you know what I did like? The Switch's controller. The Switch's controller. I really like this thing. This thing is pretty good. I I think it's really intuitive because I hated the joysticks. Exactly. As I'm saying, like <laughs> I hated the joysticks and I've the... got three of these things of different styles. I've I've got the ones, I've got the non, you know, this is the actual switch pro yeah i've got some of the off brand it's got the internal lighting and shit yeah. one's got a fan that's under here that blows through your hand grips nah i got time for <clears> that yeah. actually pretty neat but this is this has got the better sensitivity exactly. on this this and this, yeah this works i like the way this holds yeah exactly and, and see but this is the thing this is what i was talking about the stick positioning the stick positioning is i think like, like just like the xbox one xbox controller the stick positioning i think it fits in the hand more natural that's me I like to use my camera with that thumb and then move around with this thumb. I think it's great. Yeah, I like. To, <clears throat> I've I've always been a fan of the Switch controller since it came out. Yeah, but I still have the number one controller on the market. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. This uh, was that was that that one the Series X one. This is the Series X one yeah. Elite Two. Yeah. It looks pretty good. It has got it's all metal case. It's good, solid. But funny enough, you know, besides God knows it, you put them beside the um, switch. They're pretty daggone alike. Yeah, they're close. It holds like a switch controller, but only difference is it's got ports on the bottom to where I can add two more panels. Oh, that's for, sweet. So I can add two more buttons here if I want, which I do not have them on there because I don't use them for most of my game. But it's got like... That the, quick trigger. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can show it. All right, so you see how far that pull is? Yeah. It's got adjustable trigger. Nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, you don't like this joystick? All right, just take it off. Put the one on that you want. Same with your D-pad. You can put the circle D-pad on. It's all just magnets. So you can just pull that bad boy off. Put the new one on. You can even adjust the tension on your joysticks to make them tighter or loose. Yeah, I, I think mean, they started adapting that from the old... Remember the old flight sticks? The old PC yep. flight sticks? And I think that's where they actually started adapting that from. 
That's pretty cool. Now, I ain't going to unplug it because I kind of got it mounted, but it comes in a very nice case that you literally just plug a USB-C into the case. When you set this into the case, it charges. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it has its own, so, mounting, oh, its own mounting station, pretty much. Yep. So you ain't got to so. sit there and fight with it like yeah. I have to with the other two <laughs> controls. I literally just go, peace out. And I walk out the door, it's charged. Nice. That's dope. But yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's also... The only real difference between this and the Switch overall, I mean, you could see I'm just switching them back and forth. Mm -hmm. There ain't much difference. This one's heavier. Yeah. Because it's it. metal body, metal frame. It's got that real, you know, you know you got something. Yeah, something in your hand. <clears throat> like, it's it's, like, it's like when you... I paid for the damn thing. It ought to be made out of gold. Yeah, hello. Hello. That's <laughs> what I'm God. talking about. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> When I say as much as I paid for it, yeah. <laughs> it what I mean is, hey, mom, you yeah. looking for something to give me for my birthday? <laughs> Here's the link. You ain't got to. <laughs> but if you want to. There it is. Because I want that controller. <laughs> <It's made. clears throat> the reason it was more expensive is this This is not a um, like a snap-on cover. So this company buys the controllers mm -hmm. and then screen prints this on. Oh. Ceramic screen print. Now, I done already taken stuff and tried scratching it just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Not just my nail. I'm talking about metal objects. They don't scratch. So that's probably why that was about $60 more than your standard Elite 2. But yeah. If you do PC gaming and you can afford it, I recommend it. It is a very nice controller. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get you on QVC there, Grump. I'm going to get you on there. I can look at it. Well, see, Gaze uh, upon it. One of the reasons I started my channel, in all honesty, was not for the gaming. It was for the vaping. <laughs> so that's how I've learned how to get used to this camera. Because what I was doing was showing putting out tutorials on how to build these oh you know doing tests for stuff because okay. the ones i do are elite models i mean they, they, this ain't that you go get something at the store and go no you have to make your own coals you have to build them you have to wrap them you have to get the homage where you want it's it's a lot more to this than just hit the button and here it go poof no but that's just for the elite ones and that's what i actually really started the channel but then i just started playing the games too because i'm like if i'm gonna do something i've got it so that's also why my camera is on a boom so i could twist it around and put it and point it down onto the table to where i where it's like if my hand was where my table would mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. i'd put the what i was working on on it mm -hmm. and have the camera directly on it so you could see how i was doing what i was doing i see okay so yeah, if you're into vaping at all, look on my channel, look under the playlist of vape stuff. I've got all of my stuff there. On, I've everything, I, OCD y'all, everything is in its place. <laughs> you want to see every ounce of Pokemon Arceus, go look in the Pokemon Arceus playlist, all 40 something or more videos. Some of them six plus hours is there because I hundred percent the game on stream <laughs> my god all cuss words when i was dealing with that dirty namorous <laughs> all of those cuss words are on stream <laughs> except for one or two because youtube actually yeeted a couple videos because i might have got a little library uh-oh <clears throat> got a little gangsta out there <laughs> did you play arceus um i played it um it was okay. I, I, okay, I like the idea of, of free roaming and running around, and like I think those ideas are cool. And the idea behind them is, I, th I think in a couple years, I think it's going to be the future of how we play all Pokemon. I believe that that's how we're going to do it. Um, but I just felt like the execution, just for me, as far as like the catching was concerned, was kind of <clears> weird. <throat> Damn it. All right. Yeah. Um, what I discovered through playing that game is a little 
you know, word of advice to everybody out there that if you're looking at a video, buying a video game and you're looking through reviews, if your reviewer did not play through the entire damn game, disregard what they say other than the exact parts that they say. Because I do first play reviews on games. I do Grump versus Indie games. I go and buy a dollar game all the time and just sit there and play it for an hour and then decide if I keep it or not. And I just yell and scream at it. It's funny as hell. But it, I state clearly, this is a first play review. Subject to change. Pokemon Arceus was the one that really solidified that in my brain. Okay. Because that first 10 or 12 hours, gorgeous game. Loved it. I mean, the artwork, I could see where... I, you could see where they rushed it because okay. there were some glitches here and there. Mm-hmm. And there was, you know, the art style was fine. Mm-hmm. The graphics were better two games ago. I see what you mean. I, I and you could you, mean. you could see it. You could, It looked like a bad Photoshop. It looks like the Photoshop that I do for the for all the memes <laughs> I do where you can see the white outline because I just didn't feel like taking the time yeah. to play stuff. But I, I look past that. It was still, if if I'd have done a five-hour review, I'd have gave that game a nine out of 9.5 out of 10. Mm. After doing a complete play, 100%ing, that game's a seven. Okay. It dropped two and a half because I knew every single part of that game. And because of the grinding part, in which I actually like the grind part in that game. <clears throat> the Pokedex thing where you, you do certain things with every Pokemon yeah. to fill it out. Yeah. I enjoyed that because it was something a little different than just catch, catch, yeah. fight, fight, yeah, fight, yeah, fight, yeah. catch, catch. It had something different. You got to use this. You got to do that. All right, cool. Something different. Kept me awake. That was a big plus. The negatives were the boss fights. And if you just did the first and second one and did your review, you're going to give it a nine, nine and a half. Mm. You start getting to the third and the fourth one where precision movement is a key. And then you remember, you remember how fun the movement was on that game, right? Yeah. I remember the janky controls. Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> when you start doing, when you're going against an Arcanine that can, um, screen blur across the entire screen at you and you've got to do a dark souls type roll out of the way and you go to roll this way and your character says nah it'll be fine and goes that way (laughs) and then you die (laughs) when you're about to beat him about three times you can imagine why that stream is no longer on youtube (laughs) (laughs) because i know i used all seven of the words that um they say you're not supposed to use on stream. <laughs> All of them. Multiple times. Mixed them up. Variations. Capitals and lowercase. Exclamations and question marks. <laughs> yeah, I told Game Freak in basic uncertain terms how many ways that they could eat a bag of dick. <laughs> and, it, and it was just stuff like that that, as I was saying, if you don't play through the entire game, you won't have the feel for it, which is why these game journalists pissed me off so much because they're not even playing through the game on easy. Now, look, I play through a lot of games on easy because I just want to do the story and roll. Or if I'm streaming, I'm too, I'm half the time, you'll see me like this because I'm looking at the chat, just mm-hmm. there talking. I play games on easy, especially on stream, so that I can interact. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, <clears throat> and then I go back and then play them on hard when I could sit there and cut into it, Resident Evil 8 would be one of those. And I got some choice words for that game. But, look, all right. Personal gripe. See that. If you're going to have six or seven different levels of difficulty on your game, have each of them be a little different. Because basically Resident Evil 8 your easy story mode, as I would call it, is it takes five bullets to the head to kill something, give or take. Your next level is it just takes seven, and the next level it takes nine. They just become a bullet sponge. It's yeah. no change into the game. Yeah. 
they don't change their movement. They don't change their attack. They don't change their speed. They take more bullets to kill them, and there's less bullets in the game. Yep. That's about it. Because when I went through on the final level to play it the hardest level, the only reason I could play it is because I had unlocked every single gun and unlimited ammo on all of them. And I just went through with the wolf bane sitting there two shotting most of the stuff with that thing. Mm. That wow. was not fun. <laughs> it doesn't sound it. No. There are some games that you change the level, you change the gameplay. Yeah. Um, Witcher 3 was one that all it did was just make your sword less effective and their claws more. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just won't fun on the side. Yeah. I keep trying to trudge through it because I didn't already unlock everything. And I just want to go through and do a few other things. I just don't even want to pick the controller up now. It's, yeah. it's just, hey, look, there's this basic bitch enemy over there. Ten minutes later, slash, slash, come on, die, motherfucker. I want to go somewhere. And... <clears throat> I give them different moves. Give them a faster speed or something. Don't just make them a weapon spawn. Yeah. Yeah, but and that's how it is. Stuff like that you find out when you do 100% playthroughs. Exactly. Exactly. But Grump, wow. That's, I mean, I, I can't thank you enough, brother, for coming on and showing me all your vast knowledge. Even show me a few things that helped me refresh my old member berries, man. Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> I have definitely got some dinosaurs over here to the right of me. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Just, just out of just stupidity. I want to see if anybody watching this later on okay. can tell me who the hell this is. I will give anybody a reward. Anyone to tell me what the heck little dot is. Or help, 15 cent comic. Help us. Help me out. Help me out. Help now, me you out. know they're going to cheat. They're going to look it up. Of I don't want to look it up. They are. Of course but they are. Yeah. But yeah. But, but anyway, yeah, Grump. For any of y'all new model kids out there, this is what Thor really looks like. And yes, he always wears his helmet because <laughs> um he's fighting stuff and protecting your head is a good idea. <laughs> All right. Cool. We got that out the way. <laughs> Grump, you are the man, bro. You are the man. <laughs> you are the man. You are the man. So Grump, what do you have coming up soon? Um any any, any anything good coming up on your channel? Probably not because it's my channel. It's just mainly me bitching and griping playing a game. <laughs> so how often are mean, your, 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 your regular stream, your regular stream dates? All right. My actual supposed schedule, and that's always subject to change due to work and attitude, is Mario Mondays. That was pretty much my favorite, one of my favorite days. I just wake up and play a Mario game on the Switch generally. And lately, I've been switching back and forth between um, Mario or Paper Mario Origami King because I like turn-based style RPGs, and that game is actually really fun. They've done that game really good. Sweet. And I'll switch back and forth between that and what is it called? Mario Plus Rabbits Kingdom Battle. If you've watched that game, it is insanity. It's funny as hell, and I love it, but it will drive you nuts because it is a what is that called real time strategy yeah real -time strategy. Game. yes yep and i'm not really great at them but the rabbits comments and their stupid actions are funny as hell and it keeps me from going completely off the wall but that's normally mario <clears throat> that was normally done on mario monday tuesday used to be tomb raider tuesday but i have absolutely burnt myself out on tomb raider with over 200 hours total between the three um most recent the you know the most recent trilogy yeah. which was tomb raider rise of rise. the tomb raider yeah, and shadow of the yeah. tomb raider okay. that game i've got some choice comments for of that i am sure but anyway everybody check out grumpy old vaping gamer channel yes it's a mouthful but it's all good i'm gonna leave it in the description section below make sure you follow like comment subscribe to my boy grump he does a lot of fun work he does a lot of good things he's insane but he's the great kind of insane he's the good kind that we all need you never know what's coming out of here <laughs> ever yes i do have to eat my own stuff off channel once in a while <laughs> and also i will leave his social media in the description section 
be low. Um, yeah, that's where you go for the insanity. Yeah, that's yeah. where you, I just don't have any shits to give. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Grump, once again, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to come and speak with me today. Um, I really do appreciate you taking the time, my friend. That ain't no problem, man. Anytime. We got to do a Mario Kart stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll do. Yeah, that, that'll make it Yeah, me we have to myself. probably take the weapons out so we're still friends. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. God, I hate the weapons in that damn thing. <laughs> so, everybody, that there is James, a.k.a. The Grump, host of the Grumpy Old Vaping Gamer channel. Check out all his work. And who am I? Who am I? Who am I? I'm Dre. The Brute Danes. Follow me on all my dope social media platforms at The Brute00 on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok when I feel like being silly. I'm going to put it all in the description section below. And I'll put it right under my face. It's not there yet, but it will be there. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the vid. You all have been awesome. And I'll catch you all next time. Also, if you want to support my channel, uh, check out spinwiz.com or download the spinwiz app and check out my comic series trouble it was written with a lot of love and it was definitely my favorite comic series to write i've also written it in english and in spanish so whatever floats your boat i got it for you thanks again and check it out